You're sure he's in here? He smells really strong, but I can't see anything. Flowey? Doggo? I thought I told you guys to stay hidden. We did, and then we heard screaming, and we waited more until I'd been quiet a while, and well, here we are. Where's Toriel? She must be somewhere else in the house. Come on, we have to hurry! No. No? I came all the way back here to confront Toriel. I'm not leaving this quickly. But she was torturing you! Yeah, but she stopped because I was getting through to her. Are you sure she wasn't just tired? She could come back at any minute! The monsters in the basement are counting on me. Just stay behind me and be ready to book it if she shows up. Are you gonna run with us? I'm staying until Toriel is who she's supposed to be again. The monster you and so many others remember. Toriel? The locks on the door! They're all open! What do you think that means? She's gone. You really think so? This note. Dear Cory, I hope you can forgive me for what happened. I know I can never forgive myself. I only wanted to help you and the others. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. You and the others. What do you suppose Toriel meant by that? You and the other monsters she's been holding prisoner, don't you think? I told you some things can never be undone, but it took you believing in me to realize that in trying to stop horrible things from happening, I became the worst thing of all. I was just passing my pain on to others. I need to leave the ruins. I can see that now. I came here to forget, but too many horrible things have befallen here, and I don't know who I am anymore. Wow, Corey. Yours with deepest regret and affection, Toriel. She's really gone. Sounds like it. P.S. You'll find the others in the ruins. I've drawn you a map. I only wanted to save them. The others? Does she still mean the other monsters? Only one way to find out. But we have to do something first. Wimson, wake up, my dear chap. You'll never believe who's back. Toriel? She's gone. You're free. Well, I'll be. You actually did it. Only took losing a bunch of our best friends, but yeah. Hooray. I should have come back sooner. At least you came back at all. For that we are... grateful. Where will you go now? Stay here, I suppose. Not this house, of course. If I had my druthers, I'd burn it to the ground. But elsewhere, the ruins are vast enough for forgetting. Forgetting? You're such an optimist, Napstabluke. You take that back. We should stick around for at least a few minutes, just to see if there's anything here we can use. Isn't that stealing? I don't think good doggos steal. I don't think she's coming back for any of it. I'm sure Cory doesn't want us to be bad. Do you, Cory? <coughs> Looks like your friend had the same idea Toriel did. Good riddance. Wimson, try to show a little charity. <coughs> Don't worry, doggo. I think I know where he went. Thought I'd find you here. I think I spent more time here than I did in the guest bedroom Toriel prepared for me last time. Is everything okay? No. No, it really isn't, Flowey. This thing. What it did to the other monsters. What do you think we should do with it? I don't know. Do you think you'll destroy it? Is that the best use for it? What do you mean, Cory? Never mind. Time to do what I came here for. Your 
you're gonna tickle the big machine of death? Of course not. The monsters, the ones Toriel brought here, they deserve better than just being left here like this. Looks like Toriel did a pretty good job of keeping this place, uh, I don't know if clean is the right word. It's unthinkable. Like if she'd been going after humans, what would this have been? Limbs? Hearts? And instead, it just got left here because it's just... dust. Maybe she couldn't bring herself to do it. Then maybe she shouldn't have been using this machine. <sighs> I'm sorry, Flowey. I didn't mean to snap at you. You were nothing but a good friend. But I shouldn't have brought you here. I have my own demons about this place. Yeah, I can imagine. Especially with Toriel trying to fireball you anytime she saw you. That sure didn't help. Are you gonna clean this whole place? Just this room. I know there are probably more horrors behind every closed door in this house. But this is... It's what I can do right now. You freed the other monster she left behind. It's what you set out to do. Yeah, I guess. Do you want any help? I don't have a feather, but I guess I could use my leaves and pellets. If you don't mind, that'd be great. I don't want Doggo coming in here again, and he's been through enough. All of us have. Fair enough. Let's just try to gather it all up quickly. We can put it in this pouch. And then we can leave? There's one more thing I have to do. What is this place? A graveyard. So there's some of us Toriel didn't eat? How comforting. These aren't monsters. They were humans. What? The hearts. They represent human souls. It seems Toriel was as enthusiastic in slaying your kind as she was ours. This is what she meant. All that about how she was doing things that couldn't be undone. She killed them. Doesn't feel good, does it? It didn't feel good before. It doesn't matter whether it's humans or monsters. Killing is killing. A surprising sentiment from a human. Though not an unwelcome one. I guess after what she did to you. Maybe you're not so bad, Cory. Flowey and I cleaned the room where she took me. I figure you guys might want the remains. Thank you. It seems this may be something of a macabre opportunity to lay our companions to rest. Whatever else Toriel was or might have been, she cared about this place. Why do you think she even put up headstones? She didn't do the same for the other monsters. Probably because she didn't know what to do with them. Here we spread our dust over the things or places we care about, so a part of us will live on through them. Shall we say a few words to remember them? You do it, Napstablook. Very well then. We gather here today to remember those who have fallen. Mold Small, Lukes, Vegetoid, the six human children whose names we shall never know. You were taken from this world too soon. Rest together in this quiet place and know that you will live on through us, in our memories and in our souls. Earth to earth, dust to dust. I won't forget you, any of you. <sighs> I suppose we'd best be going. No sense lingering. Yeah, I don't want to be here if Toriel changes her mind and comes back. Do take care of yourselves. And with that said, if I ever see any of you again, it'll be far too soon. Guess we should probably be going too, right, Cory? Give me a minute, I'll meet you guys back at the house. We can head out from there. All right, if you're sure. Think he's gonna be okay? I don't know, Doggo. He seems really upset. Is he even going to want to go back to Snowden Village? If there's one thing I know about Cory, it's that he wouldn't abandon a friend to suffer. You're sure about that? Even after whatever Tori Hill did to him, he was in that room for an awful long time. It was just a few hours. But what if he's... broken? We'll just have to keep an eye on him, uh, so to speak. He's doing so much to help the underground, we can't let him falter now. There 
there you are. We were about to come back for you. I said I'd meet you inside, Flowey. Yeah, but we were worried. Worried has nothing to do with anything, Flowey. When people don't do what they say they're going to do, others get hurt. I'm sorry, Cory. I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, well, let's just get back to Snowden Village. What are you going to tell Papyrus? He thinks you're off killing monsters, after all. I don't know, Doggo. Okay? I don't know. <coughs> Easy there, Cory. Last time, this thing just kind of poofed. Ugh, I, I, why is it not working? Come on, work! Zap us back to Snowden Village. Let's get this over with. I think that might have been a one-way trip that got us here. Seriously? Now we're going to have to walk all the way back? This so completely figures. Not only do we have to go face the psycho skeleton and his horde of masochistic minions, but we have to do all of the hard work just to have our butts handed to us. Cory, wh wh where'd you go? I I can't see you. Just getting a head start. If we're gonna be walking, might as well get started. It's okay, Doggo. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't you worry. Can't you guys walk any faster? Maybe we should be trying to find some place to rest for a while. Why bother? If Papyrus is just going to chuck us in his dungeon or chop off our heads, might as well hurry up and get it done quickly. And you! What the heck are you doing here other than watching us? Who's on the far side of you? Sans? Papyrus? Asgore? Well, you know what? Take this! Is he attacking that camera? He was. I think it's pretty well wrecked now. I'm sick of this. You hear me? I'm done. Y you don't think he's going to leave us, do you, Flowey? Uh, I thought Cory thought I was a good dog, but now... I, I just don't know if he cares. Of course Cory cares, and he'll tire himself out eventually, doggo. We just have to stick with him long enough to figure out what's wrong. Wait! C Cory, uh, I remember this place. This used to be my old sentry post. I chased so many squirrels here. Yes, yeah, so? Did Papyrus build it for you? No. This was before all that happened. So maybe this will be a good place to stop. Sure, whatever. I'm gonna go scout around. There's hardly any cover here. If we get ambushed, we won't stand a chance. Think you'll be okay here for a while, doggo? I don't smell anything nearby. I wish there were squirrels. I like to chase them when I feel sad. It's probably for the best. You sit tight, and I'll be back with Cory soon. What do you want, Flowey? Just thought I'd come sit with you for a while, if that's okay. Not to sound like a jerk, but I came out here to be by myself. Yeah, I figured. So you just invited yourself along? Pretty much. You're pretty stubborn for a flower, you know that? I'm stubborn? What about you? You're the one that came all the way back here to the ruins on a tiny shred of hope! What a fool's errand. I wouldn't say that. You did what you came to do. Naps to Blue and Wimson owe you their lives. And what about the others? The ones I couldn't save? Luke's, Vegetoid, Moldsmall? Can you imagine what it must have been like for them? Napsable except Moldsmall just sat there shaking during his final days. To be fair, Moldsmall did that most of the time anyway. This isn't funny, Flowey. People, monsters, are suffering. And I'm just making it worse. 
You've got to know that just isn't true. You seemed so hopeful until Toriel left. What changed? I haven't. I just... I was hoping we could change Toriel back to who she was. The nicest monster in the underground. I warned you, Cory. You can't change a person's mind if they're not ready. I know. I guess I didn't want to believe it. We really needed her to help. To face Papyrus? I'm just a kid, Flowey. And this is serious. It's the kind of thing an adult should be taking care of. Monster or human. It doesn't matter. There has to be someone better prepared for this than me. Heroes come in all kind of forms, Cory, and I don't think any of them feel ready when they're called. I know this is really immature, but I guess I thought Toriel could take care of things for us. That she'd become good again, and the other monsters would listen to her. If only it was that easy. <laughs> it's been a constant uphill battle since I woke up and found myself down here. Everything I do to try to make things better just backfires. Everything? What about Hazel and the Froggets? They're probably far away from Snowden Village now, thanks to you! Yeah, I saved them all right, by trading Connie's life for theirs. Toriel or no Toriel, we'll get Connie back from Papyrus, you'll see! How are we supposed to do that without weapons? When Papyrus finds out I haven't been slaughtering monsters in the village, he'll probably try to kill me, and what then? Who will I have helped? Flowey, how are we supposed to win when fighting isn't the right way? How do you know it isn't? I don't think I could do it, and that scares me. The idea that when push comes to shove, I won't be able to hurt someone. Solving the underground's problems could take a lifetime, maybe longer. Maybe it's time to find a fast way to get you back to the surface. Your family's probably missing you. That's part of the problem too. Flowey, I don't remember anything from above ground. I remember my name, but that's about it. What if I don't have a family to go back to? There are all different kind of families, Cory. Some you're born into, but others you build. What kind of family would want me? I mean... Remember when you found me with Toriel's machine? Yeah, what of it? I was wondering if we, if I, should use it. Papyrus is strong. He's got powerful friends, and he has the whole village under his thumb. Catching him would be a problem. But if we could, if he could, be turned to dust, wouldn't that be best? Cory, I don't know about that. Cold Logic says that'd be the right move. To hit him before he hits us. But I can't do it, Flowey. Even if Papyrus was strapped to that awful chair, I, I couldn't even do to him what Toriel did to me, let alone anything worse. I'm weak. And this stupid thing, the only thing that might actually help us, still won't open. Sometimes a locket is just a locket, Cory, and compassion doesn't mean weakness any more than fighting means you're strong. What about fear? You can't tell me there's a good use for that. When it's taken too far, maybe not. But fear is something that helps us stay alive. Even the bravest people feel it. Guess that doesn't mean I'm extra brave then. It means you've been through a lot, but you can't lose hope, Cory. Your greatest weapon is your compassion. The way you're willing to talk to any monster, no matter the outcome. Is that why you keep sticking with me? Because I talk to people? Pretty much. You're the one who showed me that saving someone can be more powerful than killing them. But what about Toriel? I talked to her. I tried to save her, and she just left. Maybe that's a good thing she isn't in the ruins anymore. Maybe she'll find the closure she needs somewhere else. She's moving on, and that's a kind of change, even if it's not the one you were hoping for. Or maybe she'll go on some kind of horrific rampage and it'll be all my fault. She probably would have started with us, if that was the case. I guess. Flowey, what what do we do? Well, first you go pick up that locket, because after what we went through to get it, you probably shouldn't just chuck it away. Ouch. Fair enough. Then we're going to go back to Doggo's old sentry posts and rest. Taking off Papyrus is going to be a lot of work. Even if we're not really fighting him? Especially if we're not really fighting him, Papyrus is devious, so we're gonna have to have our own wits about us to take him down. Thanks, Flowey. I think that's exactly what I needed to hear. Sorry about that. Did you just talk to the locket? I guess I did. Maybe a rest wouldn't be the worst thing after all. Tomorrow things will be better.
There's always another way.